Family, welcome to the second episode of Muscle and Classics. It's your big brother E-Red, and this month I have something extra special for you. Now, as you can tell, I do get a little beside myself when I get these three beautiful ladies out. But I'm not the only thing they have in common. This month we go behind the garage door. Inside with Master Mechanic and Fabricator Mark Angle of Atlanta Auto Restoration. You're going to get a chance to check out Mark and the crew in action and also in the field at the Atlanta Concourse de Elegance 2017. So we got a great action-packed show coming up for you. But first, everybody's favorite, Friday Night Drags. We'll be right back. My name is Sam Grundy and you're tuned in to Muscle and Classics. site at Atlanta Auto Restoration. So let's go inside and meet Mark Angle. 
Mark, how you doing? Earl, how you doing? Good. Thank you for having us, man. Thank you for having us. Ladies and gentlemen, master mechanic and fabricator, Mark Angle, one of the best master mechanics and fabricators in the country. If you don't know his name, you're going to get very familiar with it on this show. So, Mark, we ready, man. All right. I appreciate it. Come on in. My name is Mark Engel. I'm with Atlanta Auto Restoration. We're getting ready to uh, paint the insides of these fenders from 1969 Camaro. Um, we usually paint the insides of these uh, satin black so you can see the front part of the inner, inner side of the fender um, inside the engine bay. So both sides of the fenders do need to be painted and, and we do satin black. I know Mark makes this look effortless like anyone could do it, but with over 40 years of experience, painting is second nature for Mark. What we have learned about Mark is he's a man of very few words that likes to let his work speak for itself. So as we continue inside the garage with Atlanta Auto Restoration, pay close attention to all the beautiful paint jobs you see on every car you see, because they all were painted by master mechanic and fabricator, Mark Angle. It looks like a mirror how even Marcus laid down that satin black. Now that's quality. Alright, so I've applied two coats of satin black to the insides of the uh, fenders from the 1969 Camaro. Uh, after this dries, we will untape them and pre-assemble the inner fenders to the outer fenders to uh, install them on the vehicle. And that's how it's done. As we move to the assembly shop, work on the 69 Camaro continues as we catch the shop's foreman Scott under the Camaro in pre-transmission assembly. Let's watch him in action before we speak with him. Okay, I'm here with the shop's foreman, Scott. Scott, why don't you explain to our viewing audience exactly what we're witnessing right now? Uh, what we're doing is getting ready to put the transmission together. Um, first, we're gonna put the flywheel on, uh, lock tight all the bolts, torque, all, torque it all down to spec, which on this is a big block Chevy. It's at 60 foot-pounds. Uh, next, then we'll put the pressure plate and the clutch disc on and uh, torque the pressure plate down, also lock tight the bolts uh, to 35 foot pounds. And uh, then next we'll be putting the bell housing and uh, transmission together.
come back, we go inside Atlanta Auto Restoration's Metal Shop with my main man Brandon. We'll be right back. and muscle car owners looking for someone trustworthy to help you get back on the road? Let Atlanta Auto Restoration help you today. We specialize in frame-off restoration, sheet metal repair and replacement, engine and transmission replacement, interior body and paint, and much more in classic vehicles 1975 and older. Master Mechanic and Fabricator Mark Engel and team can restore and maintain your classic today. Find us on the web at atlautoresto.com or call 770-946-8949. Welcome back. Now it's time to go inside Atlanta Auto Restoration's Metal Shop with Brandon. How y'all doing everybody? Last time y'all see me, I was placing this floor pan in this 58 B100. But what we're doing is a frame swap from a 97 Dodge Dakota. We're setting this cab in the bed on it and we're gonna get it to fit. Now, it fits up pretty close, but we're going to have to do a lot of alterations. Transmission don't sit where it's supposed to on the floor pan, so we're going to have to change that. And right now, what we're doing is we're just mounting the cab to the frame. We got, we got the frame cut. We had to cut 23 inches out of it to get to fit to the cab and the bed properly. I look forward to y'all seeing the finished product when I'm done. Tune in. Up next, the 2017 Atlanta Concourse D'Elegance with Mark Engel and the crew. But first, our Spotlight Driver of the Month. World famous DJ Brad. Legion of Doom is now in session. All right, welcome back to Muscle and Classics. We're still here at Thursday Thunder, and I'm standing here with a knockout driver, man. Um, I got to watch him hit the track today, man, and uh, he showed out. So why don't you tell everybody at home, man, what's your name, how old are you, and what got you in the driver, man? My name is Justin Campbell, and I'm 12 years old. 12. Driving like that? Wow, man, you good, dude, you good. What got you in the racing? Uh, watching NASCAR. Watching NASCAR? Formula One. Formula One. You like, what else you like? You like drag racing? Uh, no. You don't like drag racing? You like hitting that circle, huh? Yeah. So, tell us some of the things since you've been driving. Well, how long you been driving first? About two years. I mean, wow. about three years. About three years. So you've been driving since you've been about nine? Yeah. Wow. Eleven. That's awesome, man. You kick, you, you kill out there on that course, man. I love you. I saw you going. I saw you closing down that corner so nobody couldn't pass you. I saw you passing, man. You know how to work this wheel, man. You're a great driver, man. So, where do you want to take driving? Do you want to go to NASCAR? Do you want to drive Formula One or those things? You see those things in your future? My plan is to go to NASCAR. So let me ask you this. How old do, well, how old is the youngest person that, you know, becomes a professional at NASCAR? You know that? Uh, I think 15, maybe. 15? 16? 16? Or 19, I don't know. 
Somewhere in there, huh? Somewhere in the, in the teens, huh? So you gonna be ready for it that time, man? Yeah, man, you're an excellent driver, man. Hats off, man. I enjoy watching you, man. You do good out there on that course, and keep doing that, man. Keep doing I'm that. I'm standing here right. with Justin's dad, man. First of all, your son is amazing out there on that course, okay. man. Okay. Who taught him how to handle that wheel like that? Uh, he taught himself. You know, he's been into racing and cars ever since he was a little kid, so uh, he just started out in the power wheels, moved to a go-kart, and now he's driving one of these, so. Wow, wow, wow. You drive better than me, man. I'm grown. <laughs> you drive better than a lot of people out there. <laughs> I know that's right. All the kids out there do. Yeah, they do, man. These kids can handle these wheels, man. They can handle these rides well. So, enlighten us on what does it take, man, to, because I'm new to this, and this is the first time I've really been, like, totally submerged in watching kids yeah. get down better than professionals. Yeah. So, what does it take, you know, with the car, what has to happen with the maintenance of the car, and, you know, what do you have to do to keep, you know, him in line, or if you do it all, to stay focused? Well, first of all, the kids got to want to do it, so that, that's, that's the biggest hurdle. You know, it's, I'd imagine it's a scary thing yeah. getting in this car, so... I think they all do a pretty good job, and it forces you to grow up pretty fast. Yeah. So they got to mature. They handle the car real good, and for the most part, they got a level head about them when they get out there on the racetrack. So as far as getting the car ready, uh, it's expensive at times, but manageable. You know, uh, everybody's got a budget. Yeah. You can come out here and race on a budget. So right, right. Uh, you know, I work on the car mostly myself. Uh, what little we can do with the engines and as far as the setup handling of the car, we do a lot of that, you know. That's awesome. And that takes a lot of hours. We spent about 10 hours yesterday getting this car ready just for today. So, uh, wow. Time, effort, a little bit of money. So it's really like NASCAR down to the, you know, every detail, just they driving a smaller scale of car, a little less power. But I mean, the time, the energy, the work, getting the car ready. Wow, man. So, is there anything else you can tell parents out there, man, who might want to get their kids involved? We encourage everybody to come out and watch a race, and usually that's where it starts. So, if, if you're a fan and, you know, coming out to the racetrack is different than watching on TV. So, I encourage everybody to come out, and if your kid shows an interest in it, ask questions, do a lot of reading. Uh, it took a lot of research for us to get started, so. But uh, you can do it. And we're, everybody out here, we're here to help each other. We race each other on race day, but we help each other throughout the week. So. That's awesome. So, stick together, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, well, there you have it, man. I'm standing here with the next NASCAR standout, Justin Campbell. Don't forget the name because you will see this young man, NASCAR one day. Trust me. Trust me. And also, thanks, Dad. We appreciate you, Mr. Campbell, for talking to us, man. Yo, we'll be right back on Muscle and Classics. Welcome to the beautiful Chateau Elan Winery and Resort for the 2017 Atlanta Concourse de Elegance. Let's go inside. The 2017 Atlanta Concourse de Elegance was packed from green to green with the industry's top sellers and high-end classic cars. We're here as we continue our Inside the Garage segment with master mechanic and fabricator, Mark Engel, owner of Atlanta Auto Restoration. We saw tons of historic cars and a few familiar faces, some you might recognize. Check this out. Hi, I'm Sam Grundy. We're here at the Atlanta Concourse and uh, just want to tell you a couple brief facts about some of the cars we brought out today. This is a 1912 Indy 500 race car. Uh, the actual car itself is from the national racing team and that racing team actually won the Indy 500 that year. This is one of two cars that they raced that year and this one crashed during the race in the third to last lap. It actually is the only surviving car from that race. The other car went on to win and unfortunately burned up a few months later in a fire, so this is the last surviving national Indy race car from that year. On the other hand, we have John D. Rockefeller's first car, a 1902 Thomas. This car was completely original. They found it up in his Mount Pleasant estate in Maine, and it's perfect. Completely original. No one's ever touched or restored the car. It sat in a museum after 1990 when it was found for about 17 years and then we bought it from the museum and took it out to Pebble Beach where it won the FIVA award and it's probably the most original car in history. It's got less than 500 miles since it was brand new and the history speaks for itself. Welcome back. 
We catch up with Mark and the crew as they stage and prep all the cars for the day's events. So let's check them out. First, we have a 1936 Chevrolet 3100 pickup, a 1970 Corvette Stingray. This beautiful barn find is a 1925 Dodge Brothers Roadster. This is a beautiful 1967 Corvette original, just like it left the factory. Now, I'm a little biased with this next car because she's my favorite. Look at that smile. <laughs> 1957 Cadillac El Dorado. Long lines. And a beautiful smile. Let's go inside. Notice all the chrome. This is all factory. This car has never been restored. It is completely untouched, just like it left the factory. Original stitching, monogramming, beautiful. 1957 Cadillac Eldorado, perfect. All right, welcome back to Muscle and Classics, everybody. Now, this month we've been inside the Master Mechanic and Fabricator, Mark Angle. One of my best friends, he's teaching me a lot, and this is the only man that will ever touch a vehicle I own, by the way. But as you've learned, you don't have to send your car clean across the country. Right here on the East Coast, right here in Georgia, we have one of the world's best. And he's gonna walk us through this truck and tell us everything you did with this, Mark, and how long it took you to get it where she is. This truck came to us about a year and a half ago, um, maybe two years ago. It was a total frame off restoration. It started off, we had gotten it from another shop. They had done the suspension and the frame. And so basically we did paint, body, engine, transmission, uh, glass, wiring, all that. Uh, the vehicle's actually owned by a gentleman in Atlanta. His uh, grandfather bought it new and it was a farm truck in Alabama. And uh, so, but surprisingly, Thing was in unbelievable shape wow. as far as rust and you know and this 100 percent still original yeah. this is everything all original and no, i mean down to the fuse box <laughs> yeah no uh, uh aftermarket body panels all the body panels are, are on it that are, are original um so yeah we're uh we're happy to do it glad, glad to do it. thank you man and we just want to thank you for just having us on here this month and yeah. letting us inside the shop we got inside the paint booth with you metal shop and just to be here at the Atlanta de Elegance to, you know, which is one of the most prestigious car shows there is. And, you know, just to be here with you, man, is special and see your work and see your work presented and how everybody reacts to it. You know, man, no, it's a pleasure. We thank you and we totally appreciate you, Mark. Thank you, sir. I right. appreciate it. We'll be right back. Well, we hope you enjoyed this month's episode of Muscle and Classic. Big thanks to Mark Engel and the whole crew over at Atlanta Auto Restoration. You can find them online at atlautoresto.com. Or if you're in Vegas, October 31st through November 2nd, you can bump into Mark at SEMA 2017. Now sit back and take a look at some of the beautiful cars the concourse had to offer. the ace spider. This phantom drop coupe just screams grace, power, elegance. Motor cars of Georgia covered the speed side of things with two beautiful cars. This two-tone candy fire in black McLaren and this beautiful Aston Martin two-tone.
Porsche didn't cut any corners either as they premiered their entire line of vehicles. This made for a very stunning presentation. Not to be outdone, Bentley of Atlanta had one of the most impressive presentations of the entire concourse, with some of the cars they premiere and not even being available for sale yet. This beautiful Musan is one of 25. Family, that's gonna do it for this month's episode of Muscle and Classics. We appreciate you joining us. And as always in part, keep God first and keep it in your own lane. Top, top.